Welcome to Math After Dark. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We're having a good time. Teasing Melody about the fact that she's, you know, she's now been able to find the number one using uh, one, four, eight, and ten. Um, but she has yet to find anything beyond two, um, given the numbers one, four, eight, and ten, playing Alberts and Sonia together, right? So come on, Melody. You got to be able to find a three. Can you find a way to get three? I, I want to know what you know how to find all these. Okay, what is it? Hey, what am I trying to find right two. now? Find two. Find Do two. you see the screen? Can you see the screen? Come I on. can see the screen. Don't okay. be an asshole. Okay, okay let's go. Okay. So, <laughs> so we're looking. For, we're looking for a three. Can you see a three? Okay, using the numbers eight, one, ten, and four. Eight, one, ten, and four. Any of the any of the operations you like, adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, any combination of eight, I would like, one, four, and 10. I would like to submit four minus one, please. You'd like, you wanna, you, four minus one. That's a beautiful one, four minus one. And yeah, that equals would be three. Okay, and also we'll my hair is so beautiful. Yeah, well, that's because you were, you were doing it while you were drinking wine, I think, so. Right. I'm not drinking wine. Oh, that's right. Something else with a W, I think, is what you're <laughs> That's right. This is hardcore so, tonight. So, <laughs> so the the object of math of Albert's insomnia really is just to practice your adding and your your uh, basic arithmetic facts and practice, right? So, um, this is something it's best played. Um, with friends around a bar top. Um, oh my God, Wes, I will cuss. Somebody's already requested me to, I, that I promised that I would cuss. <laughs> so keep watching. Okay, and so everybody can play. So in the comments, I'm gonna drop uh, the the game so everybody can play, right? Yeah, anybody can play, so. Okay, oh, so I, I dropped it in the comments. So if you, you will sure sign up to this bit.ly, um, math after dark Albert. actually you can just hit, sit you can play with us come play, play with us don't play by yours stop playing with yourself and come play with us <laughs> come play with us <laughs> i think that's the only only way to play <laughs> sue also says my hair is beautiful thank you sue i've had some runner i've had some a time with it thank you and thank you for is appreciating it, it. Hey, Melody, is it possible that we could see those comments, or are you the only one who can see those comments? Do we have to if see you them pull, through our page? If you pull it up on your phone, but I'll pull up. Oh, these comments, yes, they're, they're not make-believe, but they're coming on my personal Facebook, and I can't pull those up. Ah, okay. So all but, we see are the ones that you post. Well, the ones that people post from, like, your, um, your professional page and my page and from our Twitter. We'll see <laughs> those. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, I have it open so I can tell you what people are saying. All right. Well, yes. we'll just we'll have to trust you um, yes. that that these people are genuinely commenting and complimenting <laughs> you on your your hair. They are. Oh my god! And, they seriously and, are. And telling you to swear. I would not make fun of the. I I would not lie about oh, people saying things about my hair. Oh my like, gosh! No. And no, you too. Your hair is beautiful. Beautiful. Like the 50, thank you, the 50 people, the 53 people who are subscribed to my YouTube can also see this. All 53 yeah. of them? <laughs> you mean, can they see it right now? Is um, it live yes, on yes, it is live on my YouTube, yes. That's, that's freaking awesome. Okay, so. I'm going to put the link. So if you want your comments to be seen live, I'm dropping the link for you to watch on my professional page. You can, and then you can, your links, your, um, your comments will go live. <laughs> That's what they'll do. They'll go live. Oh, Sue says, nope. Sue says so she's gonna, my imaginary friend, but that's not true. That's a lie. Everyone has. So oh, I got four. So, uh, Sophia, it's your turn to find a five. A five. Okay. A five. Five. I can do this. A five using only eight, one, ten, and four. Eight, one, ten, and four. Okay. Four and one. Oh, so four plus one. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yes. Okie dokie. 
And um, I don't know how this is fun yet, but I hope that everybody who's watching is drinking. Well, it's it's a lot more fun when everybody is sitting around the bar top and drinking. So, okay, um, drink people, drink and come play with us. <laughs> come play. Here's another. This is genuinely a game. You know? it's <laughs> genuinely a game. Okay. Um, so, what is the point of this game? So the point of this game is to get as many of these as possible, scroll. So you go until you can't find one, right? So, so far it's not very difficult, but can you find a six? Oh my gosh, Carolyn says that, Dr. Chris, your hair looks good too. Oh man, I thought that was for me. Forget it. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Carolyn. I appreciate that. You didn't have to tell him. You could have just said, you know, I thought it was for me. Hey, hair. Bye, hair. It looks good hey, too. I know, okay. I know Carolyn. <laughs> and I am going to drop the link if you want to play with us live. And hey, even if, if just let me know if you want to come on here, I will bring you up. That's you don't right. even have to have big 80s hair. So I am dropping a comment right now. And if you want to join our game, which so far isn't very fun, but they promised it would be fun. I'm going to keep drinking so that maybe it will become more fun. Okay. So so we're plan we're promising that we're going to have fun sometime during this evening. So we're on for an hour, <laughs> right? We're doing math. That's fun. We just started with a game. So here's the next game. Uh, here's the next puzzle I want for you to think about. Um, since hair seems to be a topic of the night, can you make for an argument that um, there are there's somebody else in the world that has the same amount, same number of hairs on their body, on their head as you do? I hope. What? <laughs> what kind of, of you know, hairbrain question is that? That's a crazy hairbrain question. Yeah. Did you what? understand the question? Okay, so is there somebody else in the world who has the same amount of hair that I do? The same exact number of exact number of hairs that you have on your head. It's possible. I mean, I don't. I don't want to know possible. It. I want to know. Can you make a genuine, provable, uh, affirmative or negative statement to say I know for certain there is somebody who has the exact same number of hairs on your head as somebody else? Uh, as you okay yes. sophia says yes so i will say yes it is arguable somebody why? has the same number of hairs on their head as i do poor thing why um why because yeah. you can count hair everybody's counting hair everybody that i know counts hair okay so count. You if you can if you haven't counted your hair who 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 are you even exactly who are you but why but why why would there be someone else on this planet why um is it genetic because i no. created a, some what, other what's human what's the name of the probably... show what's the name math of the show math after dark so is it genetics after dark no it's math after dark uh, i see which i see you trying to fool me but you can't fool me I'm i haven't drank that fool you. I'm trying to get you to think mathematically, not genetically. Isn't genetically kind of tied up in math? You're well, thinking too hard. Well, I can't help it. You guys know all these things about math. You guys think you know all these things about math, and I we don't. We don't actually know the answer to this question, but just theorize. So, so, so here, let's make it a little easier for you. I, I'm going to make it just a little easier. Okay. Okay. Let's. Could you could you argue that there has to be at least two people in the world that have the same number of hairs all over their body? I'm gonna go with yes. <laughs> you can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's. So I hate it when you think you can. We, I don't know. So so. Look at how many hairs do you think there are uh, in a square inch of your body? One square inch of, of my are you body. talking about, Are you talking about my mustache, my chin hair? I'm talking, yeah, uh, I'm my talking legs. about yes, all of that. Your legs, <laughs> all of that. Yes. 
all of that hair. Not after dark. So all of that hair. My armpit hair. Yes. Um, not your eyebrows. Um, I almost went somewhere else, but I'm gonna stay above that. Um, <laughs> That's. I unexpected. left the wine bottle upstairs. <laughs> no, I know. I need some more. I'm gonna like I'm catch my out. husband. Bring me okay. some more whiskey. Okay. I need you to go on with this because I can. I just need you to make your point, and then I want to go back to Albert's insomnia because I want to keep playing. Okay. okay. I will. I will theorize. I will. Thank theorize. you. Smart I person. I would say yes because there are over seven billion people on the planet. So the likelihood that there is someone on this planet with the same amount of hair exactly as me is very likely. Ooh, I like There's that. There's got to be another one in that seven, eight billion people. That would be my theory. Lorena right, said. Lorena. Hey, Lorena, then, welcome. She's also a former student. Oh my welcome. gosh, she's so smart. <laughs> So here's the thing. Here, think of it this way, and I can, and it's not even based on probability. So, as as um, as Sophia just said, there's seven billion people on the planet. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sure. Keep that keep that in mind. That's what they say. That's what they say. Did you did you know that the that on average humans have about 200,000 hairs on their head. I did not know that. And and let's say just multiply that by 50 to count the number of hairs on the hairiest person's body. Yikes. Just like that. Though, okay? <laughs> so what's that mean? That's, like so what's 50 times 200,000? Um, like somewhere over a million? I don't it's know how like, many zeros. It's like exactly 10 million. Okay, great. I, I lost track of the zeros. That's okay. It's okay. You just had to add one. That's all right. Um, and then five times two is 10, right? Five times two is 10. And that then add another zero. Is affirmative. 10 million. <laughs> 10 million hairs on this theoretical hairiest human being. Wow. I could easily, I could easily have 10 million hairs. Easily. I am laughing at this because Melody is learning nothing right now. I nothing. could raise nothing. your <laughs> hair count. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to Albert's. No, I want to hear you <laughs> finish this out with me. Come on. Okay. 10 million hairs on the hairiest person. Let's let's say that that's an underestimate by a factor of 10. So let's say the the extremest extremest most hairy human being possible would have a 100 million hairs on their body. Okay? There are 7 billion people on the planet. Can you put those two facts together thinking mathematically? Don't add, subtract, multiply, or divide, but think 100 million hairs, 7 billion people. What does that, what do those two facts imply? You know, we live in a very hairy world. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yes, that's Watch true. out. That. Things are going to get hairy. Things are hairy already. It's just, it's. You're so fact. funny. It's a fact. <laughs> Things are really hairy around here. You're, you're, you're. you're I hate going, you're, like, I, there's hair when you go into the bathroom. There's hair everywhere. It's just so gross. But anyway. Okay. So what is it about I, math with you, Melody, that. that yeah, why? Makes why? It I, I like math. I like math. Um. It's just that, like, when you guys talk about this, like, I don't know what the hell you're trying to get me to say. Like, I'm not like that. there. Ah, that's, yes. That's, don't that's do that. Don't try to figure out what we're looking for. Tell us what you're thinking. Well, I don't know what to think. I mean, like, all I know is that there's a lot of hair. There's a lot of hair. There's, like, millions and billions of hair all over the place. Okay, so, in fact, 
<laughs> so let me let me ask you this: Is seven billion more or less than a hundred million? It uh, seven billion is more than a hundred million. So there's more hair than people. Is, Say that again. More, there is more hair than people in this world because I'm sorry, seven billion. Did I say it wrong? Seven billion is greater than a hundred million. All right. So say what you. Which said of those is which again. is people and which is hair? So there's more hair than there are people. I'm sorry. Say that again. Seven billion is how many? What? Seven billion. Oh my God! Is there seven billion people or seven million billion hair? That's the important question. So you got to pay attention. That's the difficult part in mathematics, right? We always get these things. We start to confuse what we're talking about. Right. Which and if you want me to pay it? attention, I'll gladly send you my PayPal. I thought this was for free. <laughs> oh, I thought you wanted to do math, not just, you know. Math, money, math, ching, ching. I can understand that math. That's worth knowing. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, so tell me again. There's okay. seven. I got this wrong. Seven billion people. There's seven billion people. Did you say that? Yes, I did say that. Okay, I'm going to try Actually, to think through this. She seven, said that. Seven billion people. And how much hair is there? There's 10 million hairs? 100 million on the hairiest, absolute hairiest human being. Oh, my gosh. 100 million hairs on on each person. What did so I there, say? I don't know. I'm just asking you. I'm, I'm asking you. Why are we making this a tongue twister? Okay, listen. Okay, no, I'm actually asking you to listen. I am listen. listening. Okay, I'm going to say it one more time. How many? There are 7 billion people. Yes? Okay, I'm taking notes. 7 billion people. And the absolute hairiest of us, the, the single person with the absolute most hair on their body has a hundred million hairs. Right. Okay, so now, there's a lot now there's a lot more hair than there are people. Because if you take seven billion times a hundred million, you're gonna get a lot more hair than people. Okay. That's true if every person had a hundred million hairs. And if I ask the question, how many hairs are there in the world? Yeah, yeah, Brandon, we know. That's okay. We still love you. But, <laughs> uh, sorry. His hair other places, right? Yeah. I, yeah. I will see. <laughs> I, okay. I've seen it on his chin, yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Hello. So, Melody, here's the thing. This is you are you are demonstrating something that I think is really prevalent in mathematical thinking in the United States. The minute somebody asks you a math question, a question that seems mathematical, you start looking for things to do with the numbers, right? You start wanting to multiply them or add them or subtract them and and just start Doesn't everybody? Right, and that is a problem. Okay. <laughs> I want okay. you to think mathematically, not, not act. Okay, so here again, let's put the facts out there in front of you. There are 7 billion people. The hairiest human has 100 million hairs. The question is, are there two humans on the planet that have to have the same number of hairs on their body? I think have to have is very arbitrary, just to be honest, because nobody has to have this much hair. But probably, yeah. because in all likelihood, there are 7 billion people in the world, which means there's probably also somebody that loves the 80s just like me. So probably they have the exact same number of hairs on their head. And I've also heard that there's like three other people in the world that look like each person in the world. Okay. They're okay. double hairs. Melody, oh, Melody, oh, Melody, I want you Thank to you. go back. What did Brandon say? Brandon in said, the, of course I'm bald. Think about so, that. So 
Think about okay, that. Okay, but I want to say something. The question. Now I feel like I'm on my hot seat. I'm about to like go under so y'all can have your lecture because this is not fun. Can we okay. move on to something that's fun? Okay. Oh my God. So Just tell me the fucking it. answer. Think about it. Brand Shit. Brandon said he has no hair. There has to be another person. So there are people in the world that have no, no hair. hair. Right. Thus, they have the same amount of hair. Oh my God, yeah, there's bald people. There's a lot of bald people. Yeah, but they're not bald all over. Ah, uh -huh. there are some people. Here's, here's my point. Okay, I'm going to finish this. Thank one God, time finally. Thank you, for Jesus. You. Please give us your point. Okay, Shit. look. Holy crap. Okay, so here's the story 100 million is the hairiest human being. There's 7 billion people. Each one of them has some number of hair on their body. All of them right. have to have all of them have to have less than or equal to 100 million hairs. Is that correct? If the hairiest person has 100 million hairs, everybody else has to be less than 100 million. Right? But there's 7 billion of us. So that means each one of our 7 billion has to have a number that we are, that is the number of hairs that we are assigned to by how many number of hairs we have, right? If you say so, Doc. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it simpler. All right, there's a 7 billion people. Each person <laughs> has to have 100, <laughs> 100,000 hairs or less. Right, right. So million. 100 million. Okay, 100 million, 100,000. But it's still less than 7 billion, right? Okay, so something yes. has to repeat. Right. Because after you go through all of those numbers, you have to go through all of them again. Boom. So the likelihood that someone has the same amount is great it's because... It's yes. not just great, it's one. It's... a. It has to be the case. There's no I way feel in like the I'm world. in class too. Me too. I'm, too. I'm like, I mean, I'm hot seat. Like my my blood pressure started. I'm like, what the f am I supposed to say? And how do we move on to the fun part? Is all I want to know. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm in an advisor meeting. I you're part, a mediator for crying is, out loud. You're the freaking mediator. Thank God for you. All right. The fun part is teasing you. I'm used. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. <laughs> okay. I'm like, I'm, so I'm used to being in the hot I'm, seat. Me and my hair, we're getting the hell out of here. Is all right. <laughs> You're like, math still sucks. I'm taking my whiskey. I'm going. <laughs> Holy smokes. Okay. Sorry. I didn't mean to <laughs> make it feel like you were being, okay. you know. Buried it. All right, Melody. What fairly. really, really, really puts you under the hot seat? Seriously. Uh, what Besides put me in that? Yeah. Oh, just, you know, like, like just the attention, like right on me, like you wanted me to have this certain answer and I wasn't going to be able to give it to you. And then it was just like, I felt right. like I was in trouble sitting there. Yeah. yeah. I think that's so the that's, thing that everybody. Because you guys know the answer and I didn't know the answer. I felt like a freaking idiot. Wow. So I'm sorry. I did not mean to make you feel like a freaking idiot. I did mean to tease I'm you. Back, not I'm sorry, story. It's a good so, thing I have a high self-esteem is all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. So, so, so the point really, uh, here's the point I'd really like to make. And that is math. If you were approaching math as a task, and I'm sorry, that's what I was trying. I was not trying to get you to think about. I want you to think about it as a, as a, as a, means to play with ideas yeah and you were and you were and instead you were you were turning i mean your experience told you you have to find an answer it's Big true and brandon really is, you're killing me brandon <laughs> he's funny he's a funny guy Lorena's having I, a good time. Lorena needs to come up here. She knows all the answers i'll drink and she can answer your all stupid questions because i'm like i don't know the answers Okay. Anyway, let's go back to Alberts. I, I'm ready for some more questions in Alberts. And do I need to drop it in the comments for people to play again? Sure. Come play with us. Stop playing with yourself and come play with us. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, please do. Drop it back in there. Let's go. <laughs> so what number do you want to find? All right. So next is six. Can anybody find a six? Actually, I also want to ask you another question. Nobody's me. Exactly Are you asking me? Ask Sophia. She knows all the answers. Is it? Are there other ways to multiply than what you've? Oh my! I no. You know we've had this ways to multiply. Of course. So, so I, I want to get to this other question, I guess, and that that is, I, you know, and I know I sound like a a professor, and that's a professor. That's, You're such a professor. I'm sorry. I apologize, but um, I want you to. I want you to think about something. I, you know, I want, if you're going to do math for fun, you got to be willing to do it. And you have to loosen up a little, Professor. Drink a little for shit's sake. Come on. He's like this when he drinks too. The <laughs> math doesn't stop. The math doesn't it's, stop. It's, it's worse when I drink. Okay. Brandon wants to know where's the source form? I just see the answers. The source form? I don't know what if you mean, seeing, Brandon. If he's seeing answers in there. Those are the answers that we've already. In. You can just just type just type go to the if you use the uh, bit.ly link that's scrolling across the bottom. Uh, bit.ly slash math after dark hyphen and Alberts. And I'll drop it'll it in take the comments. Right again. To, it'll take you right to uh, this uh, page. Sue says six times one. Is that how we're supposed to make? Is that was the question? She's listening. She's a good student. Are we trying uh, we to make six? That. She can say that, but we don't have a six. We don't have a six. We're oh, working with shit, the numbers Sue. eight, four, one, and ten. <coughs> but she's so said, eight, can you one, get a six? ten. Okay, are we? So we're, so we're trying to make we're trying to make a six right now with these numbers eight, one, ten, and four. Okay, I am gonna try. Oh my gosh, ten minus four equals six. Oh, MJ Callie writes for a six. <laughs> I have a feeling this is going to get much harder. This just this just coming on. It's coming on. Oh, Brandon's coming in there with something. All right, come on, Brandon. Brandon's my hero. I feel like Brandon's, if you Brandon's if you put working me on hot, seven. So after you rest. get seven, you need to come up with nine. I mean eight. I need to come up with eight, and I can't just say eight times one. Sure, you can. Yes, well you done. Can. Look at me putting Eight some multiplication in there. <laughs> Way to go, MJ Callie writes. <laughs> I can, you know, uh, uh, Sophia, can you get a, can you get nine? Can I get nine? By the yes. way, anybody can come back and give us. I will new... do 10 minus one. 10 minus one. And yes. can only one person each time do this? No, oh, anybody no. The way we're because I can get gonna... nine by adding eight plus one. Exactly. Oh, boom. Oh, boom. Look at you. So look we'll at me and my here. look at me and my eight. math skills. Who knew? <laughs> She's got mad math skills. And here we are again at, at MJ Cal. Is it bad if I ask my kids to go get daddy to refill my whiskey? Is that a terrible thing? <laughs> it's, it would be better if you told your kids to come and play with us. This is supposed to be adult fun. You said adult fun. Oh, that's right. It is. Don't tell yeah, me. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm look. in closed door, so they can't hear me cussing at you. Somebody got an 11. You see that? Uh, they didn't put their Ooh, name 11. in. 11. Oh, 11. I think that's Brandon. Can anybody? What about 12? Can you get a 12? I would say 8 plus 4. That'd be a nice one. 8 plus 4 for 12. Very good. Or I'm trying to think, because there are other Ooh. ways. Like Somebody beat you. Could you do like eight times 10 is 80 divided by four? I'm not sure if 12 is. <laughs> you could, but that's not 12. <laughs> you could do. I was always really bad at my four. Eight divided by four plus 10. And Sue said eight minus one for seven. Good job, Sue. She's playing along with us. This is awesome. What's, uh, what's Sue's um, handle? I, her handle is at spiral. Education as spiral as you shoot. Sue, what is your um <laughs> your your Twitter handle? There we go. And thanks for playing, Sue. Yeah, keep playing. I am gonna be useless in class tomorrow. Yep, I'm gonna be useless well, in life. Math sucks it out of me. No, I'm just joking. It's not really, it's not really math. I, I actually like math, guys. You got me wrong. 
I like math, but I don't understand why people love math. I like it. So and here's I, the thing. Can, can, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Cut me off. You do all the time. What's the point? <laughs> well, I figured joking. when you're drinking, it's a good time to cut you off. Oh, shut up. Okay. I, so like, I know that there are people that like you guys, you see it in art, you see math and art, you yeah. see math, like everywhere you go. Um, I notice patterns. I, I was thinking about this today, just in case I thought it would be good to bring up. I see patterns all the time. I see holes. Like I've always been kind of obsessed with hours and like the next cycle, I guess cycles. Okay. I Yeah. I mean, that's, I, I see cycles very easily. I see patterns. I do see those things mm -hmm. and okay. I appreciate them. Okay. Okay. But well, I think we all have like our, 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 our thing. Mm -hmm. Like if you were to put us all in a room together, we'd all have something different that we're interested in. Yeah. What are you interested in Sophia? I, I like to twist it up. I like to figure out different ways to solve the problem. Um, uh, I post things like multiplying from left to right, um, dividing from left to right um, in, in the same fashion that you would add numbers together. Um, I like to um, find patterns where there are none, like in the six timetables or different ones in the nines. Um, that's how I see it. Um, grouping is something that I do different than other people. Um, I tend to be able to block out a pattern in shapes and things very quickly. Um, the wow. thing that got me, you know, I didn't always like math either. I had uh, high school teachers that were, you know, just, you know, horrible. I, they were horrible. Um, you know, if you didn't get it, that was your problem. And I had these twin teachers um, and I was in the one who was just like, you know what, that's your problem. And one day his brother said, come to my class. And I was like, what's the difference? I was like, you're his twin. He was like, we're <laughs> twins, we're not the same. And he was like, do what I say and you'll get it. And he had me read the chapter ahead of time. And he also gave me credit for how I saw math. And all of a sudden, it, the pieces just started falling in place. And one day I was in biology class and I was like, <gasps> this is algebra solving the equation for elements i was like this is algebra this is the same thing we're solving for the missing thing and it all just started to fall into place um and that was my aha moment um and then after that you know i was like oh i can do this um and it's okay for me to do it my way i love that so that what was a great it. story yeah. yeah yeah but it took a while yeah i hated it up to then <clears> i was just like this is the worst thing ever yeah and all of a sudden it was just like wow i can do this and after that i was like math tutor and all kinds of stuff and i was just like i can figure it out it's okay to be lost like at that and i think that's the thing once kids realize it's okay to be lost they start to relax and i think they don't they're not given enough space just to feel like you know what i don't get this um there's this you know chasing that standardized test, trying to get ready for SATs, everything like that, that's a lot of pressure. And everybody feels that pressure. Um, and I think sometimes you just kind of have to let that go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Brandon, thanks for coming. I thanks, love Brandon. that. And and I also, what are, so what is happening here on the, um, the board here? Like you can repeat the same number? Is that part um, of the game? That's not the way, no. So there are some rules, unfortunately, that to every game to make it like more wave and you can set them ahead of time um but but albert albert's insomnia is played where you use each of the numbers that you're that are drawn from the card deck at the beginning of the play of the game right so right last night we drew those four numbers one four eight and ten from this special deck of cards called albert's insomnia Invented by a friend. Um, his name is Rick Buckner, and he's on Twitter. You can find him at Albert's Insomnia. And um, he's a great guy, and he, he, he would love for you to uh, play his game and share it with your friends. But he, um, but but the rule is you, you only play with those four or five numbers that you draw from, and you can use any of the 
uh, and then what you do is you set the set the rules up as you want to play based on the number of uh, the the operations you want to work with or, or the age of your kids. So if you have young kids, you just use addition and subtraction. Who don't if they don't know multiplication. For older kids, you allow multiplication. For older kids, you allow exponents. For even older kids, you allow things Ooh, like fact factorials and and other things. When we play uh, with um, the with a, at a at a bar at a conference with people who are math people. We'll throw in all sorts of interesting things, you know, gamma functions and and other things, not just factorials. But um, we, you know, it it depends on who you're playing with and what it is, how, which which um, operations and things you want to use to exercise your mathematical mind um, to have fun with it. For some people, it's just fun. How would you come up with? How many different ways can you get 18? It's not just, right. can you find one? Can you find mm -hmm. many? And math is a game. So you ask Sophia what it is she likes. And she likes to, she likes to find different, different ways to turn things around. I like to find, uh, I like to just play with numbers. I like to just have, uh, when I'm alone sitting and, you know, uh, just with my own thoughts. Sometimes I, I will twist numbers around. I, I twist words around. I do all sorts of things, but I look at structure. That's what makes, makes things interesting to me. For instance, I like this question. Here's one that I'd like you to think about. In, when you, when you turn one half into, from a fraction into a decimal, it terminates, yes? It stops, 0 0.5? I'm not even Am there I... with you. Okay, oh. so one half. Wait, no, 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 wait. I'm just stuck 5. on the fact, wait a minute. When you are sitting there by yourself, you think about numbers? Sometimes. Yeah. You don't? Okay. What, no. what do you think about <laughs> when you're by yourself? I can't even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care how late at night it is. I'm not telling you that. <laughs> or how much whiskey you've had. I know. I know. But sometimes I do. It's not the only thing I think about. I'm not saying it's the only thing I think about when I'm alone. But sometimes I, you know, if you're bored sitting at the doctor's office and you're, you know, you're trying to, trying to keep your mind active and not go to sleep. You know, so okay, you Melody. So you're a writer, right? You're a writer. Yeah, I love writing. Right? Yes. So you, you think about writing right and you're yeah fine. exactly so it's the same thing okay yeah yeah i'm trying to wrap my mind around that <laughs> like that's really like mind like wow there are you can people translate that about numbers anything they, into that's... numbers you can translate there's, anything into numbers there's people that think about you know numbers because they want to like it's a choice you're making a choice to think about numbers and i think that, that's amazing how do you know how do you know when you're teaching kids, like those kids that are also thinking about numbers? I can see kids that hate numbers. I can see those easily. How do you see when you have a, a kid in front of you or a young person in front of you that like loves numbers and? Um, little children, like preschool, that kind mm -hmm. of age, they will write their own, the same way they will write words and you know it's an entire story they will write numbers and make up their own formulas and equations for them um, even though they're not you know they don't balance out on the other side of the equal but they will make that up um, they will start to count things and they start to see the th that there's a value you know like when you give like a little kid like you know one cookie and then they're they're upset because they want two and you break it in half and they're happy because they have two but then all of a sudden they have that day where they realize, wait a minute, you took my one and split it in half. Like I have less. Right. right. That's, that's what kids do. And you can see that in the stuff that they mm -hmm. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like all of my kids so far have had that. I, I definitely feel like they were, they loved numbers until they hit yes. third grade. Yes. Until yeah. there was a structure for it. Yes. Huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think the the key too is it's just playing with them, talking about numbers, playing with them, doing it when you don't have to get that schoolwork done. Um, yeah. And then they become a little bit more relaxed. And and when there's a mistake, there's a mistake. Like, you know what? You know, we get mistakes on other things and we start over. We do it again. So back away from it. Do it again. Not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. We kind of have like this end of the world thing. Oh, my God, you got it wrong. It has to be. It's not the end of the world. You know, it's like, you know what? Let's go back and do it again. That's all. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Mm -hmm. Let's keep having fun. Don't ask me any hard questions. I want to play with numbers. You want to play, play with numbers? I want to play with numbers. Let's keep having fun. Okay. So now you're telling me, okay, I'm going to put the numbers back up. So Albert's insomnia, you're trying to make every number using the set of numbers, the random numbers that we picked, 8, 1, 10, and 4. And we can use exponents. We can use anything that we actually have in our tool bag. Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. Let's do it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I might need to text my husband for more whiskey, but I will do that if I need to. So I ahead. have a little bit left. Okay. So you're, we're looking at this. You tell me what you got. You know, mm. can you come up with? So what number are we on? Well, we've got some holes in here. It looks like 15's missing and 16 and 17. What about 17? Okay. So if you're if you're if you're joining us, please, I'm going to put the thing. Join us. You can do this. We're trying to make numbers. We're trying to make the numbers like consecutive numbers. This is what I'm understanding using our random numbers, eight, one, 10, and four. And you just said 15. I'm going to start there. 15. Okay. So my brain says, and maybe this is because I'm elementary. My brain is like 10 plus one plus four. Did somebody else already put that? Nobody's put anything in there yet. 10 plus one plus four equals 15. Mm -hmm. Sophia, what did your brain say to make 15? Oh, let's see. I go efficient. You are like, ah, how many different ways can I make 15? I know your brain sees that. Now I know that about you. Right. So you can do 10 plus eight, which is 18. And then minus the four, 14 plus one, 15. <laughs> I just made it more complicated because. Because you, know, you can. Because. <laughs> okay. So you did. You did eight plus 10, which is 18 minus four, which is 14 plus one, which is 15. I love it. That's brilliant. Isn't that great? That's brilliant. And see, and that's what you just points? want kids to do. Yes. Did she get bonus points because she used every single digit? You know what she gets? She gets Number. the accolades of her good friend, you. Who just said congrats. That's awesome. She you just called her brilliant. Who needs more points than that? I'm sorry. Stop, <laughs> stop rewarding people with senseless points. Yes, she can have 15 the million words, extra points. You know what? Advisor. Here you go. You get 100 million extra points. The number of hairs on the get hairiest back to work. person. <laughs> Is anybody watching? Get back to work. I love that. No, I love that you said that. I would see that's the difference between your brain and my brain. I went for the most efficient, and that's how my brain sees it with numbers. Like okay. I'm just trying to get to the point. And you're right. like, hey, there's this other way what you else? can do it. What else? You're right. Yes. That's what you want to know. What else? You can play with it. Is there right. are there other ways? Right? Other ways. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I love it. Don't go on from 15. Can you find another way? I'm going to try 16 because now I feel like I'm going to copy Sophia's answer with 15. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm going to try 16. Like but um, you guys talk. I, I have to think about this. And and those of you, if we have like two people watching, I think we have two people watching. <laughs> Go ahead and try to find 16 or 17, but try to use as many numbers as you can. That's what I'm going to try to do right now. That's my personal goal. In, in one rule, one, one set of rules, you have to use all of them. Mm. And that makes yeah, it we change little... it up all the time. Yeah. So you can change yeah. this up if you're playing with your with your kids and you're just trying to to get them to practice. You allow anything, any you know combination one, two, three, or four numbers, but no more than four. No more than what you're given. I think 
out loud. I'm just thinking like, okay, eight plus ten is eighteen. Um, oh, I don't want to do that. Really Four plus one is five. Plus ten is fifteen. And minus. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can make. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 8 is 13, plus 10. Obviously, we can't do that. Oh, so you just you just got 15, 23, though, didn't you? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got 23. Yes. Hello. Hell I, can yeah. make, I can make 23, but can I make 16? Yeah. I'm stuck. Can you make 16? Yeah. Because I'm stuck, and I'm like, how can I... So Eight right. plus one is nine plus four is thirteen. Like if I take ten away, then I get three. So if I say ten and four is fourteen, plus one is fifteen, you know. And now I know how to make, you know, what's fifty minus eight? Seven. I can make seven. I can make seven, but can I make sixteen? I give. I want to know what Sophia came up with. Or or Sue. Sue, are you still with us? Let us know if you're still there, Sue. Yeah. Oh, she's what does she say? 10 plus 8 is 4. Okay. Hmm. I feel like we could do this even better. Like every time Chris says, um, do you understand? I'm gonna take a drink or Something funny like that. <laughs> we can we can make it a drinking game. That'd be fine. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'm 16, gonna get there. Sixteen sixteen is a hard one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sixteen's um, not easy. I'm only seeing the factorial. Chris, is there another one? Four factorial minus eight. Works for me. Do you know I, what what I does that did? mean? I don't know what you just did. Tell right, me. A factorial is. So she. She she's doing. I'll type it in for you. You talk. You can type it in. So, a factorial is when you take the number and you multiply it by each one of the digits. So four. You have four, three, two, and one. So you do four times three times two times one. So four times three is twelve. Times two is twenty-four. Times one is twenty-four. Twenty-four is the factorial number. It is the you, when you multiply all the numbers. So you get okay. The, okay. So you get 24, then you minus eight. It's kind of cheating. It's expressed by an exclamation point. So if you were to see four exclamation point or any number with an exclamation point after it, that means it wants the factorial. So you just literally take all of the digits up to that number and multiply them together. Okay. If you say so, Sophia, if you say so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you understood that. No, yeah. not really. I didn't. All right. So, all right. Let's Sue, did you understand three. that? So let's take to number three. So okay. what numbers do you need? How many numbers? To make the number three? Three. What numbers come after or before three? Two and four. No, no. Before. Prior to three, what comes? Prior to three, what, what numbers? What are the integers less than three? Yes. Okay. Positive two and integers. one and zero. Two and right. One. So you okay, have two three, and one. two, positive one. ones. Okay. So you multiply three times two times one. Okay. So you get six. That six. is also known as three factorial. That's huh. it. Do you learn that in college? No, you learned that in high school. Oh. Well, ooh. not this like, one did. I missed that. I missed that. I, missed that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't learn it's, that. It's an, it's an idea that, so think of it this way. Um, what, what did, did you have any collections as a kid? I Maybe? collected troll dolls. You collected troll dolls? Yes. So, Picture in your mind your three favorite troll dolls. Picturing. Picturing them? Pull them aside. I'm okay, pulling so, them aside. So ignore all your other ones. Ignored. Okay. Now, uh, arrange them side by side. 
arranged. Can you arrange them a different way? Yes. Can you arrange them a different way? Yes. Can you arrange them yet a different way? Possibly. I, I think. So here's, here's, not, here's I don't how. Know. I need to write this down. Okay. Anyway, yes. Is the answer yes, you can arrange them more like infinite in amount of ways, even though you only have three troll dolls? Not infinite. The number okay. of ways in which you can do it is actually. Um, there's only there's only three that could go in the first place. The one, so are you picturing right. them arranged right to left or left to right? Um, right? This way. This is my right hand. Right to left. Okay. So you're picturing them from right to left. So you have you there's there's a rightmost and then there's a middle and then there's a left. Yeah. Yes. So there's three dolls that could go in the rightmost place. Obviously. So yeah. Yeah. Right. But, but once you've chosen one of those dolls, there's only two dolls that can go in the middle place. Is that right? Right. Yes. How did you know? And once you've done that, there's only one doll that can go at the end. It's Is true, sir. It's true. So with three here and two there and one here, there's six ways to arrange your dolls. Damn, you're good. And Not that way... And that that method of counting is shortened with a three exclamation point. So three factorial. Three factorial would be the number of ways you could arrange your dolls. It's like magic. Line. Yeah. Oh, did she just it. say that? Did she say Don't that? ruin did it for that? me? Don't ruin it for me. It's magic. It's <laughs> magical. <laughs> She just said math was magical. That's what she said. I heard her. <laughs> it's on tape. Uh, I love that it's on tape. You're so 80s, and I love it. I adore that just now. Yes. <laughs> it's, on tape. it's not Memorex. It's real. Oh, it's on tape. Math, grow up and solve your own problems. I wanted to say that all night. Okay. <laughs> so. Yay. So. For math, for you know, for a mathematician, it, it comes people come to mathematics, you know, number sorts of mathematics for different reasons. Right? Right? Can I ask so you guys some math questions? Mm -hmm. Please do. Now's a good time. Okay, so like I feel like there's people in the world that are like you and they think mathematically, and there's people like me that are like really emotional thinkers. Or maybe I could have been a mathematical thinker. But that shit was just like lost on the computation, all that I had to learn. Like I could have been, is there a way to help I, people? Like, I is think, it, is it, are you born with it? Is this a born thing or is this a learned yeah. thing? It's a learned thing. I think thing. that that's, that's it, that you just said it, computational. Um, that's what most people think about it. You know, we say we do math and people go, oh yeah. Well, what's, you know, 952 times, you know. Um, 7,937,432. It, 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 it it's, it's so far beyond that. Um, they, they just see it as numbers and calculations on paper, as opposed to translating the world into, it's just translating the world into numerical yeah. kind of things. That's some, it. Yeah, some, okay, some so don't, it. okay, wait, let me ask you another thing. I think and now I know what the drinking game is. Every time Chris interrupts, I'm going to take a drink. Okay, Chris, the, but I'll direct this to you, Chris. Okay, Doc. So, like, is our numbers a part of like like your your spiritual part of your thinking? Is it a part of like like your emotional part of thinking? Or because like for me, numbers are separate. Numbers are very separate from my thinking, and I try never to go to that place if I don't have to. But for you, you like to visit that place. And I'm just curious, does it like, is it a part of your like thinking on everything? Yeah. It's part of the way I see the world. Wow. Because it it allows me the it allows me to see the world and um, look for the order and structure that uh, you hope to see. 
so that you are not constantly bombarded by chaos. Hmm. But, but interestingly enough, I would say that math people also welcome the chaos um, because, because chaos, allow, um, you, you, can, you can see that order is a part of chaos. And um, it's not just something that that has to be, and and people and things devolve into chaos. Rather, instead, inside chaos, there is great order. Can I? Let me look. For I, would, a I was just going to say, Sophia, can we drink to that one? Absolutely. Inside of great Cheers. chaos, there is order. Whatever you just said. Okay. <laughs> I I I like the chaos. I, I I like when there's a problem when it has to be fixed or solved or an order to it. Um, I I I find that the art part of math. Art is not balanced, or you know, really shouldn't be balanced. Um, things that are balanced are pretty you know um, definable. So when it's offset and not right, then you know what's causing it what's the thing that that you need to do to put it in order so i i i like i like problems in math i'm i'm not the instructor that's like happy with your answer i like to see when you're stuck in the problem because that's where you learn more wow yeah. so it doesn't bother you it doesn't bother you in this the slightest that you get things wrong like you don't care about getting things wrong no, there was wrong. a time when I was like, oh my God, you know, I had to have that right answer because that's what you think. You, you see yeah. these math people and they just do things and you're like, and no one ever stops to say it took them years to get there. And, and no one ever tells you, I'm, I'm a teacher. I do, like, you know, I'm a teacher. I do this all the time. I do it every day. Like, you know, and so if you don't do it every day, then yeah, you're going to hit walls. Um, so you know, like when you hear on social media and you see all the people that are all like, you know, ah, but most of that static is coming from people outside of math because math people know you're going to get stuck. You, you, you know, you have to find that, that place in there. Um, and if you don't do it all the time, no one really expects you to have it right off the top of your head. Um, mm -hmm. We play with numbers a lot, a lot. We play with math a lot and concepts a lot. Um, so it's there, but if you don't do it, you know, why would it be there? Yeah. You know, so that's the key with kids, getting them to play with it. Because unfortunately, they just do it, you know, for the assignment, and then it's gone. Like, they don't want to see it. Parents don't want to see it. It's done. It's like, yay, we're done. But you got to find some other place in there, you know, like measurements, yeah. brushing teeth, all of those things make them more fluent with their numbers. Um, and the more they play with them, and things like that, the more they're likely to play with the work and try to figure out what it is that their teachers are trying to get them to learn. Well, I taught math for years and I still still think like the most efficient way to get to the answer. That is how I learned. That is like ingrained in me. I'm not sure. We, you guys, we, we might have to have some lot. more episodes. We might have to have some more episodes to beat that's that shit out, out of me. <laughs> I think that's a great idea because, you know, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't. I didn't mean to be a you know a real ass. Yeah, and and put you on the spot. I didn't. I really didn't mean to be an ass. I wanted you to 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 think completely differently than what you are used to thinking. Like when you think about mathematics, because the because what I was sensing, and here's 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 how I felt about your your reaction to my questions was you were. Uh, programmed to look for a, a particular thing. When I asked you about hairs and bodies, you wanted to multiply. You <laughs> wanted to divide or something. And you wanted to, you wanted to think in what somebody told you what mathematics was. Mm -hmm. And I wanted you to think differently. And here, here's the thing. You know, we were talking about playing with numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about chaos and order. 
So I, you're you're sharing my screen right now. Mm -hmm. I'm. A, I'd like to ask. Do you see these pictures? Are any of them even remotely attractive? Um, I, I like. Yeah, I like the middle row with like it looks a little bit like tie dye. Anything that's tie dye. There's several pictures that look like tie. Those to me really I love. Yeah, I like that picture. You like that like, picture? Yeah, yeah. So, so, but you're not really a fan of this one. Not really. It looks like a needle. I would pass. Looks like a needle. Well, some people. It some looks people like a germ. It, like, no, thank you. Okay, it it kind of looks like a coronavirus or a bug or something like that, right? Would you Would you be interested to know? Yeah. Yeah, it's not something you want to be involved with, right? But this picture here. That's so pretty. You like that one? Indeed. That one is inside this one. Shut up! What? This picture is a part of this picture. I'm if gonna turn to, to that. If if we could zoom in on this picture, uh, in I don't know where. But Actually, if you look at if you look at the shape, look at the shape of this, and then when he goes mm -hmm. back to the other one. See, see this shape, Sophia's especially not surprised at all about this. Oh yeah, especially look at like this shape right here. Uh huh. Where my, where can you, is my, can you see my? Pointer? I can see your shapes. Can you see I, my finger I, moving I around? Can, yeah, I can see. I can see the cursor. Okay, so if you're looking right here, and now, <laughs> do you see how this shape is kind of like oh. what was over there? So, oh my gosh! Right? Yeah, that's pretty freaking amazing. It's an, another magical well, moment. That's where I'll drink to that magical moment at, of that. Look at that shape. Do you like that one? Is mm -hmm. that pretty enough? Is that tie dye it's, enough? I want to put that on my. Um, I want to put that on my carpet. I want a rug that has this. Yes, that's nice. so pretty. Yeah, I like that. So that's that's from this shape too. It's right in here. Wow. So where crazy. you can, isn't that crazy? It's so crazy. <laughs> so, but here's the thing. This is a mathematical, this is not art. What you're looking at is a math, is math. And so, it's, because it's math, it's not art, but to me it's art. Can it be the okay. same thing, math and art? Can yeah. we put them together? Yeah, we can. Yes, we can. And that's what makes it fun. And that's what makes it beautiful. Part of what makes it beautiful. So let me. So are you gonna cry? You, me no. Uh, I feel like. But I'm gonna, <laughs> can I? Can I tell you something? It, it'll take a little bit of time. Okay. Is that is that okay? Sure. I'm gonna put my listening lips in, and I'm just gonna not say anything. Okay. <laughs> try not to tell me that I'm really boring at the end. Okay. <laughs> So she's already asleep. So so it's possible you should know that this picture is drawn on on a coordinate plane like you studied in algebra with x y equals 3x plus 2 or something like that. Right about uh, here is the origin 0 0. Okay? Um, what we do know is that you can you can turn each of those single points that are written as two numbers, right, an x and a y. You can treat those like they are a single quantity in a different number system called the complex number system. So you can treat those like a single quantity. All right. So in that numbering system, if you take one of those numbers and square it and add to it a fixed number, the original uh, place that you started, and you repeat this, and you repeat it, and you repeat it, and you repeat it over and over again. Does that, am I making any sense? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to follow you. I get it. We're on a coordinate plane. I totally get the coordinate plane. I love coordinate planes, but you're saying if we repeat it, I would just have to see it, I think. because So, 
So it's possible that I that I go two times two, right? Yes. I'm gonna right, and yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna call that equals that. So that's that's four, right? Yes. But I found it by multiplying two times two. Yes, I can agree to that. Okay, so over here I'm going to I'm going to uh, put this cell uh, times two because every time we multiply by two. Yes. Okay. So that's eight. Yes. Yes. And over here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go this cell times two. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to copy. Oops, I'm going to do this a bunch of times. That's a repeat. Yeah. And then I'm going to do this a bunch of times. And that repeats, right? So what <gasps> happened? To the That's crazy. Right? So it grew rapidly, right? And it made a shape. Okay, yeah, it did. It did make a shape. You're talking about the shape of the numbers, right? Yeah, your brain is already like thinking, my brain sees the shape. You see this shape here. Yeah. Right. But I, I'm also seeing the fact that, okay, so these numbers are growing fairly large, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Really oh large. God, it's, like, it's like Christmas trees coming out to play with us. This is so cool. Pretty quick, we're going to get to a place where the machine won't like how big these numbers are, and it'll it'll stop displaying them, right? Oh, Sue says more lips. Okay, I'm so sorry. <laughs> 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 okay, so it's possible. <laughs> what people do is they do the same thing, but with with complex numbers instead of integers. And sometimes those numbers, as you can see here, those numbers grow large in complex numbers. These blue ones out here, these blue numbers, they grow large really fast. They go whoosh, way off into the distance. But over here, we started with two, and it got really large. But what if we started with a half? It, it got large, but it didn't get large as fast, right? It is not large and in charge at this point. It's not large and in charge. It's not large and fast. It's not getting large fast. If I change this, this two, in fact, to also be multiplied by a half, right? Can I ask a question? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is I'm this listening. is what you're doing right now? Is how you get the shapes of the pictures that you were showing? Yeah. Okay, I'm just making sure that I'm following along because this is like, it's a little, hi, Joy. My friend Joy is watching. Hello, Joy. <laughs> right, so so what's going on? She must I'm, be so bored. Hi, Joy. It's good to see you. Yes. We've been following, some of you, some of us have been following your progress. Glad to hear yes. you. Yes. Yes. Oh, celebrate your. Cool that you know that it's my friend Joy. Thank you. Yes. We, we celebrate your progress against this disease. Um, this shape that you see here is generated in the same way. How about I do one last thing before we sign off? Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stop this share because I have to go and eat dinner. Um, <laughs> and I wanna, I wanna so show one thing. Sweet dinner. I wanna do one last thing. And- uh, I'm gonna, like, while you're doing that, I'm just gonna say that this has really been enlightening. Um, 
like from the very beginning, you know, just like being on the hot seat and then like, you know, the way that you guys see numbers is so different than how I see numbers. And that's just very enlightening. So, so this is, right. this is the same thing. Um, oh, this is not the, this is not a great one. Um, but here you I personally can, don't like the colors on this one. You don't like the colors, but Not that's really. okay. If you don't like the colors, we can um, let's change the palette from earth and sky to seashore. And um, okay, I haven't used this one, so I made. I'm sorry. I'm 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 acting like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't because I've never used this particular zoom. This is a special set of numbers called the Mandelbrot set or Mandelbrot. Um, that's how you pronounce that person's name. It's named after a guy who originally discovered that. And, and this, this set of numbers shows you, let's see if we can, um, maybe I can get, uh, let's just watch a movie real quick. You're such a teacher. I know. I'm sorry. You're such Pardon a professor. Me. Look, there's the coronavirus. Yep, that's the one, right? Zoom. Yeah. Boom. But we're zooming in on this coronavirus. Talk about trippy. <laughs> For sure. What? Did you see what, what we did? It's all just of this is, this is this is all based on um, calculations in ever smaller and tighter parts of the plane. I feel like we're seeing chromosomes right now. DNA. Just, okay. you know. So what you're seeing now is a very small piece of what we were looking at before. But all of it is just because we've narrowed the window that we're looking, right? So we've done that using numbers. And people who play with numbers discover beautiful things. Is this, these are numbers that we're seeing though, right? You are seeing pictures of numbers that are colored in a very specific way. They are colored based on how fast they go towards infinity or if they don't go to infinity at all. Remember, I showed, you, I showed you some that were, I showed you numbers and they were getting really large. There are some numbers, there are some, um, some values you could put in, the, in your beginning function that will not, um, they, won't, they won't explode to infinity at all. They will instead stay near home. They'll stay close. And those are the ones that get colored black. All of these ones that have any other color besides bright red. Okay, um, wait, my eyes are glazing over. I can't take it anymore. Okay, so anyway, this is really right. cool. I love it. I've never seen this. I've never, this is like all new to me. I love Good. it. So I, but here's what I want for, if we go to, if we go math after dark again, I want it to be a lot of fun. I don't want, I don't want hot seat, Mel. I don't want to be in the hot seat. I just want to have fun. Want I want to play with numbers. And but I do like that I was drinking fun. tonight. I think that's why I didn't quit. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> I feel like also this is why we should be drinking whiskey while we learn math. I'm just kidding. I agree a hundred percent. But I want to do this again. And I want to have a lot of fun. Um, I, I, I can see that I have some deficits when it's coming to math thinking. Like I'm trying to be efficient, but math is a world to explore. And you guys prove that to me tonight. I thank you for that. And I'm, I, I want to explore with you. Good. Okay. Good. And if you're watching and you want to explore, tell us. We'd like to know if you want to explore with us. So Yeah, and we'll, we'll yes. happily take... If you have questions about some place that you want to explore, that that uh, thing that you think is mathematical, we'll explore it with you, even if you 
think it isn't, and but you're wondering about it, let's let us know. We'll explore. Yes. So thank you both. And, and so I, much. I promise I won't be as much of an ass to anybody else as I am to Melody because she's just too much fun. <laughs> I survived. It's all good. I'll take one for the team. Um, <laughs> No, this is so fun. Also, we went over an hour, which who knew that we were going to do that. But now, um, anyway, thank you all so much for joining us. It has been so much fun. We are Dr. Chris, Sophia, and Mel, and um, they are trying to teach me how to appreciate math. I appreciate that you let me be uncensored, cuss, because I like to do that. It's my love language. And um, <laughs> no, anyway, it's just thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. And I hope that you'll join us again where we have a lot of fun, right? You guys promise fun. Yes. Absolutely. We promise fun. All right. We just need to know what makes things fun for you. We'll do it. Yeah. Well, I feel like you're the brainiacs. So it's just, you know, whenever like, yeah, fun, you know, like the numbers, I do like the Alberts things. That was a yeah. challenge. I'd like to play that again for sure. Put for us sure. on the hot seat next time, but yeah. 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 Make me, make me sweat it. Yeah. I will. I'll come up with some things to make you sweat it. That sounds like a good thing. <laughs> I'm for it. I'm for it. It's, it's absolutely fair, uh, yeah. fair play. <laughs> awesome. All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, everyone.